Adam here with Wholesale Septic Supply. Today we're going to talk about your selection of uh, linear diaphragm pumps and linear action pumps. Uh, there's one that's a piston pump, it's the Mito. Uh, over here we have a high blow HP80. These are the most common. They paint these white, brown, and they call them different names. A lot of these, a lot of the pumps out there are high blows. You have your Mito. It's a piston pump. Runs a good, good, good long time. Uh, I've heard people say these things. They've had them for 10 years before they quit, so they last a long time. Uh, you have your Seiko and your gas pumps. Uh, these are both good uh, pumps. Some of the OEMs use these. They last a good time. Um, and then you have these two, which are rare earth magnet pumps. These aren't as popular. People aren't as familiar with them, but they run cooler and they suck a lot less power. 1.3 amps, 1 amp. Uh, because they run cooler, you're going to get a longer life out of them. Uh, they're going to you know, give you probably four to six years trouble-free uh, no issues. Then you have uh, this pump. I've heard people saying four, uh, five years out of this. Here in Texas, we're, we're only getting three to four years out of the high blow, but you can rebuild it two times, no issues. Um, you get a total life out of it of 10 to 12 years. Uh, when any of these pumps get a red dust inside, it's pretty much time to get a new pump. It's an iron oxide. It's from the, the coils and uh, it's good indicator that the pumps you know seen at the last of its days the Mito you cannot rebuild okay there's rebuild kits that people sell the problem is they do not blow the same pressure after you rebuild them you will get air that comes out but you will get no pressure we have tried it multiple times to see if there's a trick to do it uh, so once these go out they're done for it's time to get a new pump they run very quiet they're long-lasting pump though so you'll get good you'll get a good amount of life out of them so that's your selection on air pumps. All these are premium air pumps. These are the air pumps you want. Uh, there's cheaper air pumps out there. The problem with that is you're going to spend more in the long run on those pumps than just buying a quality air pump and being done with it. So uh, you can spend uh, you know $160 or $180 uh, you know, on a pump, and uh, that pump's going to last you a year and a half, two years. You ain't going to be able to rebuild it, and you're going to spend an additional $200, and you should have just bought a premium pump and been done with it. And premium doesn't mean it's more expensive. These are, you know, $200, uh, $220. Um, <clears throat> these are $220, I think. Uh, you can find these for like $290. High blows are $270. So they're that not that much more money, but you just get that much more better of a product. So uh, that's your selection. Uh, these are all 80 models, so that, that's going to be the most common thing out there. If you guys have any comments or questions, give us a call uh, or a comment on the page, and we'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Thanks.